SoCal as powerful winds are causing dangerous conditions. Some trees have toppled over and it's making a huge mess from South LA to the San Fernando Valley. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Panorama City where a tree fell overnight. Cara? Yeah, good morning. Fierce winds overnight and they brought down this tree, which you see right behind us. Tangled up in all of that is a street sign. So that uh, also brought down. Fortunately, this all fell away from houses here on Cloverfield. There were no reports of anyone hurt, but the tree is blocking the street. It will be cordoned off until crews can remove it. Let's give you a closer look. Now, I did speak with the homeowner. He said he heard a loud boom right around 1045 and that he and his wife rushed out and found this. He said normally neighbors park cars right in front of his house. Fortunately, they did not last night. He also tells us he and his wife had called the city worried about about the health of this large tree. Another tree came down overnight on the 118 in the Porter Ranch area. Take a look. CHP officers rushed out. They found the pine tree blocking the four and five lanes. At least one car was driving through at the time. The tree's branches appear to have punctured its radiator and oil cooler. The driver tells us he's a Lyft driver and he had a passenger with him. It's almost like it came out of nowhere. It just, I was the first one to hit it, I guess. And <clears throat> yeah, it felt like we went through a bale of hay or something. It just felt weird, and I'm glad, I'm glad it wasn't the deep impact, you know. Well, red bags went off, but yeah, we're both safe. The winds also snapped off a large tree branch, which came down on a car in South LA overnight, damaging the roof and the windshield. Our crew shot this video in the 10,000 block of Valparaiso Street. The winds have blown debris into power lines, too, causing some scattered outages. Overnight, right now, Suzanne DeMarco, DWP, says they're working on restoring power to about 1,500 customers in the Exposition Park area, and the winds aren't done yet. So uh, just kind of stay tuned, make sure you pay attention as you drive into work, and expect some of these scattered outages, all of them relatively small, uh, as branches and debris fly into power lines.